today we're going to make a blank for this Junior Statesman 2 pen kit. This is a, one of those high-end pen kits. I think it runs pretty close to $40, $50 if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to make a blank that's going to be in the center section of both the upper and the lower. It's going to be this natural box elder burl. And then 3 8 at each end is going to be a black alumalite. And then on the cap, I'm going to put some little aluminum rods on all four sides. I'm not going to do it on the lower section, but I am on the cap. And it should be just really pretty. Well, here's what we need to cut. We need to cut one piece, one and 3 8 inches long. That'll be for the lower portion. And then we need a piece that's one and one quarter inches long for the cap. And then we need four pieces of black alumalite half inch long. I'm cutting them long so that we'll eventually trim them to three eighths and then I'll center the dot in between. So first off, we'll cut these two pieces, one and a quarter, one and three eighths. The stop block set to cut a half inch. Now I'll cut four pieces of this black aluminum. Okay, there's our upper and there's our lower. I'm going to put a little thin, thin piece of aluminum in as a separator. And this is aluminum off of a soft drink can. It's real thin. It's only six thousandths in thickness. I don't want much. I just want a thin, thin separator between the two. These soft drink cans do have a coating on them, both inside and out. Now, I've already pre-stripped these, but I always keep a supply of these strips laying around just in case I want to use them and I use them quite frequently and now I'll just wipe them off with denatured alcohol alright here's my four pieces got it marked right there I think today to glue this up, I'm going to use medium CA glue. And all I'm going to do here is I've got this little squaring jig lined with plastic bag so that it doesn't stick. After I get it all glued up, I want to let it set overnight anyway. Now while that one is drying, we'll start the same with the other end.
All right, got them glued up. We're gonna let them set for quite a while. I'm not even gonna spray them with activator right now. But you see, with my little jig, now I'm square on two sides. So it'd be easy to square them up once they are completed drying. Okay, now we want to come in here and we want to put an aluminum dowel 3 sixteenths from the joint back on all four sides on both ends of the upper blank. You can see I've got it marked here with a pencil right there. I've got this jig set up in my drill press that centers that, that makes it repeatable. Now that was a 332nd drill bit, which is about 93 thousandths, I think. And this is 93 thousandths aluminum rod. Let's see, now I need to cut eight pieces, about a quarter inch long, so that we can drive into here. I'll just do this on my, uh, I think I'm just going to cut them on my scroll saw. <sighs> have our eight pieces and now we'll just insert them into the holes with a little CA glue Now we have to trim those before we can turn it over. All right, we've got them all installed. Now I'm just going to take it to the bandsaw, flush trim them like I did these, and then clean it up on the disc sander, and then we'll be ready to drill. Got it trimmed, give you an idea what it's going to look like. Before we wrap up, I want to thank everybody for watching and ask that you like our video, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't. We appreciate it. It helps our channel a lot. Hey, be watching Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. I'll come out with another update video, and I'll introduce you to somebody new or something new to the shop. But that'll be a Thanksgiving Day video, and... Now, let's see what our finished pen looks like. Thanks for watching.